you are asked to sketch a graph, then you are only supposed to show the general shape of the graph without pinpointing every single point. But if you are asked to plot a graph, then you have to make sure that you get all the plots right, all the points should be correct. So that's the difference between sketch and plotting the graph. But for either one, you have to remember to write, um, label the axis. That's really important. Number two, always show your working and check your answers. So it is important to show every single working for any math exam at all. It is so important to show every single working that you have. And also always recheck your answers, definitely. And round your answers to the significant figures that you are given. Um, you have to know the difference between decimal places and significant figures. Those are different. I hope that you know the difference. And, and as for hashtags, some of you guys have actually asked me if um, you're supposed to put hashtag for your final answer. And for me, I personally don't put hashtags. And the reason is because my maths teacher once told me that if you put a hashtag for a final answer, if it's wrong, then um, it is wrong. But if you don't put hashtag, then if the examiner sees the correct answer somewhere, they can still award you marks for it. If you put hashtag at your final answer, then you're indicating that other answers are wrong. So even if the examiner detects the right answer, they couldn't give you marks for that. So avoid putting hashtag. And then the third thing to remember is to always make your working neat and if you are using like if it's not continuous if you're continuing your working on the other side of the paper then make sure that you draw an arrow to indicate it so that the examiner don't have to go around looking for that make sure that it's neat and if you have any wrong working then cancel out and if you don't know any question just try to answer it as well just don't leave any question blank it could be an incomplete answer but your workings might get you marks so definitely try to attempt all questions next i'll be talking about graph so to get full marks for graph you need to take note of a few things and those are the axes the label units title um the shape of the graph and also how much space your graph is taking up so sometimes um, marks are not given for titles but just write it anyway and then for axis you will have the x axis and the y axis you have to label those axis along with their units if you just label without units you lose one mark so it's one mark for unit one mark for labeling and then write the zero at the side um, at the side where the two axis cross 